All right, welcome to our scene on Rydell Thyroiditis, represented by this rye bread over here with the Dell laptop in it. We'll call it the rye Dell. Rye Dell for rye Dell Thyroiditis. So what happened is, is that this lady over here made this rye bread, but she accidentally left the Dell laptop in it. And her husband here doesn't want to hurt her feelings. And so he eats it. And he describes it as hard as wood. Now, he doesn't tell her this, but it's actually hard as wood. Not surprisingly. I mean, come on, it's got a laptop in it. This is going to remind us that Rydell thyroiditis is described by a fixed, hard-like, or wood-like, painless goiter. The thyroid is very hard. While all this was happening, the pet esophagus and the pet trachea over here were watching the whole thing, and they were very disturbed by it, and they spontaneously caught on fire. This reminds us that Rydell thyroiditis often extends to local structures, such as the trachea and esophagus, and we can see inflammation there. And in this way, it mimics an anaplastic carcinoma. And that's why over here, they're actually mimicking, while they cry, this plastic car over here. Car that's plastic for anaplastic carcinoma. Rydell thyroiditis can mimic an anaplastic carcinoma. Let's take a look at the wall over here, because conveniently, this old couple here has some pictures that we want to be aware of. In this top picture, we note a classic picture of the wood-like thyroid seen in Rydell thyroiditis. And on the bottom over here, we see a picture of the fibrous tissue and inflammatory infiltrate seen in the thyroid. Of course, this is not what the thyroid cells should look like, but in Rydell thyroiditis, this is what we see due to the fibrosis and inflammation. In the door, we see this IgG that's randomly stuck. IgG in the door for IgG4. Rydell thyroiditis is considered a manifestation of IgG4-related systemic disease. Others include autoimmune pancreatitis, retroperitoneal fibrosis, as well as non-infectious aortitis. Two more high-yield facts that we want to be aware of. One is that Rydell thyroiditis often affects young females, and that's why in this Dell computer screen over here, we have a picture of that young female. This separates it from anaplastic carcinoma, which affects older people. And the second thing we want to be aware of is that a third of the patients with Rydell thyroiditis are hypothyroid. That's basically it. Okay, that's it for our incredibly weird scene. On Rydell thyroiditis, I hope you enjoyed. Take care.